They'll be calling you a radical. Just got off the phone with Christina. Rad chick. I'm depressed. She's depressed. Jan's depressed. You know, like she says, now we got 10,000 people coming to us. Why? And I'm like, they heard us in the reception. My videos in the early days I put up 10,000 views, 9,000 views. Eight. That was not even counting mirror image. You know, you had hundreds of thousands. Jan had hundreds of thousands. As this went on, we told this tale in detail. They refused to listen to us. They wanted confirmation to the hairspray liars. That's how posture and groomed they are. I want to say this. People say, well, what can we do now? What can we do now? Like Christine says, where the fuck were they then? They want to come now that it's probably too late? Yeah. To the nuclear industry, and it's all its fucking ignorant supporters, I simply say this, Ophelia. There's fennel for you and columbine. There's root for you, and here's some for me. We may call it, oh, herb of grace of Sundays. Oh, you must wear your root with a difference. There's a daisy. I would give you some violence, but they all wildered when my father died. They say he made a good end. You know, I love it. My PhD, my experience with the atomic veterans, my telling this tale, what can we do now? You can't hide. Bolster the immune system. Live like you have cancer before you have cancer. Through juice, and through food, fresh fruit, fresh vegetables, fresh, bolster vitamin D, vitamin C. Musical therapy, I listen to incredible, I don't even have a TV. But number one, listen to people that have earned their credibility and earned your trust. If I haven't earned your trust and credibility by now, if Christine and Jules haven't earned it by now, if Jan hasn't earned it by now, so many of us haven't earned it by now. We've been reporting this from day one. You know, like she says, you know, we did everything we could do. And I said, you're not a politician, neither am I. Well, I tried every trick I could ever fucking dream of. Everything. We told this in detail. It was reported. You refused to listen to any of us. Now, granted, our small army that's emerged out of this, yeah, because we're inflicted with a disease. This disease that we... Man, millions and millions have had this disease, and it was eradicated over this last 20, 30 years from 1986, as I live to tell. It was eradicated, that disease, but there's, it's showing up again with a very few people. The disease is called logic. I had no idea that the American populace was this self-indulged, this rude, this ignorant, this... I mean, Busby's coming out now and say they should expand the expansion in Tokyo. Yeah, no shit, the NRC told us day three. But I, want, I cannot overemphasize this. It's safer to live in Tokyo than it is in San Francisco, Seattle, Los Angeles, Salt Lake City, Denver, Minneapolis, you know, I can go on and on and on. Lansing, Michigan, you know, New York City, Portland, Maine, Glasgow, Scotland, London, England. The wind blows out 95%, more than 95% of the time across the Pacific. Number four went dry right off the inception. We know that. You know, the government didn't go in for one simple reason, because the department, the DOE, the department, the United States of General Electric, they run this country. Period. Period. Cancer, it's not going to kill us. It's killing us today. Chernobyl heart's off the hook with kids. Birth defects are off the hook, but dramatic cancer. Our wing, East Eight, is turning into West. It's overflowing. The death people that they were able to save is killing. As I went to a lecture yesterday, a nurse did about my de novo. They teach it now. And they, she said in the lecture, she says, you know, Kevin Blanche is here today, and we know that de novo that he has, which is leukemia that can present in tumors. And it gets misdiagnosed, we know that it kills 90% in the first 100 days. I'm the only third person in the history of the United States to have de novo OS without a bone marrow transplant. The automatic. They're watching my case day by day, and I know I'm fragile as it gets. I want to read this. Live like you have, can we entomb it? Of course we can entomb it. Why haven't we? Because we don't want to expose the secret nuclear weapons that are pointed at China, all over Japan, the United States, USS Reagan. I met with the adjunct, maybe, in California. I met with, they know, they all know. The marine biologists, that is the scum in this country. Can you believe them? It just shows you that they're all titles with, that suck up money that do absolutely nothing. This is all freelancers have done all this. You know, hundreds of freelancers now. In the inception of, you know, me, then here come Radchek and Jules. You know, right shortly thereafter, early, very early, Jan, very early. Has it grown? You know, so many people have done incredible work, incredible work. All we could do was tell the tale. I tried every trick I could think of. I mean, I dreamed up every dream I could dream. Talk about this, post-ignorance. Live like you have cancer before you have cancer. We'd go in with moles. We'd go a mile away. 
and we could entomb it, you know, the same moles we did Yucca Mountain with. Go look it up. Oh, by the way, Yucca Mountain is supposed to be in there by 82. This shows you this cartel. They didn't expose it because they were moxing fuel in number four. The spent fuel apparatus proves it. There's more spent fuel in there that ever should be. And it went, they went dry. They went in the absolute rad chick is taken down, raised the limits, and now Gina McCarthy's. And the far right, you think about the right mentally ill, retarded, radical morons that the warmongering Republican Party. I thought, okay, confirmation hearings. That's the other party's duty. To go at her. To expose that. David Vitter's head of the committee. He didn't show up. The far right radicals, they... You know, there is no wrong right. There's only popular opinion. The root of all evil is organized religion. These hair splayed fucking devils, you'll listen to those fuckers they get it wrong and mass murder your family. You know? You'll listen to them. They're devils. They're not... There's nothing religious about them. They're the, the far right Republicans in this country, the Lindsey Grahams in this country, they're the devil himself. They're very dumb, dumb, ignorant people. Very dumb, ignorant people. They're preying on you, just like the gun lobby. Oh, get a gun. What are you going to do? Shoot a nice fuck toe? You think that's protecting your children by fucking going to the range? Look at me. I shoot you. You fucking pathetic motherfuckers. I got guns. I got guns and fucking rifles. It's like a guy got into it with me. I pulled a gun on you. And I says, let me tell you, fucker, I grew up on this fucking ranch with a special force marine. We killed something. We ate it. I grew up as a hunter. I learned to shoot before I could walk. I don't need a fucking handgun. And I says, I'll tell you what. You better not miss, motherfucker. Because I'll guarantee you, I don't miss. I could shoot. Oh, can I shoot? But I shoot with my 30-30 fucking Winchester. I shoot with my old Browning shotgun. Fucking, I knew Matt Browning personally from this town. He rolled his an AK-47, that cheap nine dog. What the fuck is a man? That you're protecting your children? No, you're overcompensating for your low intelligence fucking level, you pathetic fuckers. You fuckers all make me sick. It's just like fuck Christina says, now they want to show up? Now, after they have, yeah, I says, yeah, they got to wait for fucking CNN, the biggest liars on earth, Fox News, to give them confirmation of the truth. When we talk, Cred credibility and trust is, I thought, earned. Apparently not. If I haven't earned your fucking credibility and trust by now, if Jan hasn't earned it, as Jules hasn't fucking earned it, if Christina hasn't earned it, no, they wait for confirmation for the posture and groom fucking liars of legend. Yes. Oh, Glenn Becker, I sell you now at 6200, buy silver at 50. They're on the other side of the trade. They played you like a fiddle. Oh, buy fucking guns, go here over Christ fucking bullets. Ha <laughs> ha. But fucking, God forbid, pull one out. Go around, drive anywhere, pull one out. They're calling the fucking military industrialized complex and they're coming with tanks and drones on you. What are you going to do? Shoot one out? You. F I mean, I love my children, I love my kids. I protect my kids with my brain. That's what I'm fighting for here. I'm fighting for my family, as Audie Murphy said. Oh, when he tried to get him all those fucking men. Oh, fuck, you think I'm fighting for this fucking flag? You're fucking crazy. Let's fight for my fucking family and their farm. That's what I'm fighting for. I'm not going to let them do to fucking my father, murder him, and then try to murder me. Do you think I'm going to fucking not go down fighting and protect my grandchildren? That's what real men do. Fuckers don't want the truth. Is it too late? Yeah. Fuck yeah, it's too fucking late. Tell that to the people that are dying in the hospital every fucking day. You think you're above it? You're not fucking above it. You'll think when you get fucking cancer. Everybody says, oh, Kevin, why do you keep going with this? It's either fight or die. I still have less than a 50-50 chance to live. I've defied the odds. I def I'm in a fucking treatment every day. My play of the counts is 114. My daughter says, you are a fucking, you're amazing. You keep fighting. I'll fight these fuckers to my last fucking breath. And I'm not scared of one of you motherfuckers. Not one. And if you don't like my presentation, go to Christina. Go to Jan. Go to Pink. Go to Joni Ray. Go to any of them. We fed you any fucking sick, dogmatic fucking demographic you want to be fed. Like Jill Christine said, she's heartbroken. I'm heartbroken. Now they want to? Where the fuck were they for the last 900-something days? We told this from day fucking one. You refuse to listen to us. Any of us. Oh, it's your style, Kevin? Then okay. Jan. Oh, it's your style, Jan? Oh, because our styles are so fucking contrasting and opposite. I see post-ignorance. Po I see post-ignorance as a pure art movement in the concept of art itself, in the concept of art as culture, in the concept that people are culture, in the concept that inspiration influence our great historical artists like Van Gogh and Millet, like Paul's reference to the NC, like Monet's to the sunlight, morning, dawn, winter, fall, spring, and influenced by the involvedness of the time. My look at culture and art there as economic theory, popular culture, art, 
more reality the lack thereof art. The mind of seeing what others for unsubcognitive reason do not see. Everyone saw light from millenniums. Everyone saw a simple line from millenniums. Everyone saw eclectic color from millenniums. It is more per se than the artist. Monet saw the light. Millet saw the struggle. Van Gogh saw the line. Smithson saw the simplicity of the line and shape against the landscape. Kaninsky saw the election of color and shape. Pollock saw the color of dynamics in motion, but much more than that, they saw decades ahead of the truth. Their minds saw fact and truth. Their minds were strong enough to act upon what they understood, when others did not understand, not yet. They had strong backs and knew how to work. They were the purification of ambition, intelligent, educated, smooth of work ethic. I visualize and have it for two decades, and all via my heart control, via my keyboard, via my paintbrush, via my cardboard three dollar throwaway camera, via my flip video camera, my soapbox, YouTube, via websites as this. Poetic injustice to the entire world, wars without provocation, pain without a crime, love with an artistic spirit, with without an artistic spirit, ignorance with a club, a big club, is a counter what I have termed, you know, ignorance is post-ignorance. I see post-ignorance like this, as a movement in pure intellectual, in a broad intellectual. Not I know art history, not I know how to draw like a camera, not I know how to interpret, and I, not I know how to incorporate, but I know culture, I know, know environments in the more exposed manner, I know economics, I know geopolitics, I know metaphors, good and bad, I know struggle, what it means to be like stolen in wealth, mind, artistic, and benevolent. I read the whole book online, I wrote this 10-10-10. This is the counter to ignorance. Popism, as a lot of people say, as Warhol tried to call this out, as he was, think about it, Popism was the likes of Marilyn Monroe and Elvis Presley, these iconic, beautiful, beautiful, brilliant, Edie Sedgwick, these brilliant, brilliant, beautiful minds. By the way, as has been cheated by her in Manhattan, Patty, she can kiss my ass. It turned into ultra Popism. To neo popism, but it's still popism. It died 31111. It's like comparing what our popism has morphed into today. The video killed the media star, the Anderson Coopers of the world, the Sanjay Guptas of the world, the Fox News creeps of the world, compared to Marilyn Monroe, Edie Sedgwick, freaking Elvis Presley. That's like comparing a Bucati to a fucking 72 Pino. That's what this is. I wrote that long ago. This is so fucking real, and it's killing so many people fucking right now. Is it too late? Yeah. They could go in with moles a mile away, going into the Navy dive teams. They won't because it's the end of nuclearism, and it's the classic denial. They think that they're so arrogant there, but they're not going to get cancer. They're, they don't care if their family gets cancer. I've seen it right in my face. They don't care if they're kids. They hate their own fucking kids. They fucking hate their own spouse. They hate everybody. That's, that's how me and grotesque this populace is. They don't care. All their money can another minute by Steve Jobs. And everybody says, oh, it was his religious belief. One of my doctors was one of his doctors. Multiple transplants. Through the kitchen sink at it. Couldn't save him. But they think they're above. It's This is the capitulation to all this. If Warhol wouldn't have been killed by that doctor, filled him up flu, which almost happened to me, by the way, I think he would have put a stop to this fucking madness a long time ago. Because the artist fucking quit. As I live to tell in 86. Chernobyl happens. That song's written as I live to tell for Ophelia. That song was written for Ophelia by Madonna and Patrick in Manhattan. His physical graffiti, that brilliant piece of art. That was the end. That was the end. You all went for the money. Patty, Bruce, born in the USA, you fucking American fools. This is very fucking real. Stand to it.